Okay, a circular coil has 15 turns and diameter of 45 cm. If the magnetic field strength at the center of the coil is 8 exponent negative 4 tesla, find the current flowing in the coil. Okay, this is about a uh, circular coil. You want to, uh, it's talking about magnetic field strength. So this question is about magnetic field strength for circular coil. Okay, one second. So uh, yeah, magnetic field strength for a circular coil. Uh, using this formula okay mu not i over 2r right but the thing is it has the turns you see that it has the turns and turns this is a diameter uh, all this centimeter you have to change to meter okay uh, oops uh, this change to meter okay this magnetic field strength at the center of coin so this is the magnetic field okay at the center so find the current uh, so question A, okay, is about circular coil. Okay, so magnetic field for circular coil formula is mu naught i over two r. Okay, uh, but it has many turns. You see, it has many turns. So you need to multiply n. Yeah, multiply big n. So it's mu naught n i over two radius. Yeah, if one turn, if only one turn, is mu naught i over two r. Uh, if multiple turns, no, no. If a uh, circular coil has uh, multiple turns, then you need here on top it has the big N. Yeah, it has the big N if multiple turns. Okay, uh, you know, and I over two radius, huh? It's still two radius below. Okay, this is called the radius. Yeah, radius. All right. So, but the question it gives you the diameter. Uh, as we know, um, radius a uh, diameter is actually. Uh, two radius, yeah. Diameter is two times radius, so we can substitute these two radius with diameter. Okay, you can substitute it with a uh, diameter. All right. So um, okay. So we can uh, we have the turns. We have the uh, we want to find the current. Give you the magnetic field. This magnetic field at the center yeah, of the coil of circular coil. Also give you already. Uh, diameter also given uh, so we need to find the current okay so substitute the value so magnetic field at the center of the circular coil is 8 exponent negative 4 yeah this this is negative 4 uh, tesla and then mu mu naught mu naught you can find from list of constant list of constant provided you get a mu naught permeability constant permeability constant mu naught 4 pi exponent negative 7 Okay, substitute the value 4 pi exponent negative 7 the total turns is 15 turns and the current I want to find the current diameter diameter is 45 centimeter change to meter is divided by 100 divided by 100 uh, not divided by 1000 uh. divided by 100 it get 0 0.45 meter okay so let's find the current so what's the current okay 8 exponent negative 4 uh, and then multiply 0 0.45 and divide by the 4 pi exponent uh, exponent negative 7 okay uh, and then uh, divide with 15 and some more yeah okay so the current is 19.1 uh, 19.1 ampere uh, is that correct 19.1 Yes, 9.1. That's correct. Okay. Now, how about the solenoid? Okay, the second question is about solenoid with these turns carrying this current, magnetic field at the center, uh, and then length of the solenoid. So, this question is about solenoid, talking about magnetic field strength also, but also at the center. Okay. So, what's the formula for solenoid center? Solenoid center, okay. So uh, this one put a little bit over here. Okay, this one over here. Alright. Just want to make everything systematic. Okay. Uh make a divider. Okay, that's good. So do question B. So now it's talking about solenoid. Solenoid. So, uh, magnetic field at the center, yeah, 
at the center or we call it the mid yeah the midpoint uh solenoid uh solenoid talking about solenoid is uh, med field at the center or the mid is uh, solenoid uh, mu naught and i yeah if at med uh, medic field at the end is half mu naught and i so remember you need to check whether it is uh, at the center or at the end uh, at the center or at the end so that's the uh, that's one thing you need to uh, be careful yeah for solenoid is it at the center or is it at the end because the uh, different position different formula yeah this one is mu naught and mu naught and i this one is half mu naught and i at the magnetic field at the end is only half of the at the center ah okay so right now it's at the center so the formula is mu naught and i only mu naught and i and the small n is the number of turns per unit length ah number of number of turns per unit length uh, so we can substitute this small n with big N over L. Uh, so it becomes mu, mu naught big N over L, mu, uh, mu naught N I over L. Okay. Uh, so uh, give you here. It give you the total turns. It give you the current also. You have to change the milliampere to ampere. A magnetic field at the center also at the midpoint also given to you. Okay, so we can substitute all the values there. Uh, one point uh, magnetic field at the center is one point zero five exponent. Uh, this is negative six. Uh, exponent negative six. Exponent negative six Tesla. And then mu naught is uh, you know just now the list of constant four pi exponent negative seven. The total turns is fifty turns. Fifty turns. Uh, I want to find uh, current also given. Current is 10 milliampere. 10 milli. Milli is exponent negative 3. Uh, you need to change to uh, the SI unit. Yeah, SI unit. Uh, milli is exponent negative 3. Milli is exponent. Yeah, you need to change this. Uh, you need to change this into SI unit ampere. Yeah. So, um, okay, milli is exponent negative 3 ampere. Okay. All right, so divide by length, and uh, yeah, length is uh, what I want to find, yeah. So I want to find the length. So what's the length of the solenoid? So you can find it out. Uh, okay, so you cross multiply, and you will get the answer. One point z. Um, okay, uh, four pi exponent negative seven. Okay, four pi exponent negative seven multiply fifty multiply. You know, 10 exponent negative 3, exponent negative 3, and then divide by 1.05 exponent negative 6. 1.05 exponent negative 6, so divide. Okay, so what's the length? I got the answer 0 0.598, na, uh, uh, 0 0.5983. Oh, never mind. 0.598 only lah. 0.598 meter. Uh, meter. That's the answer. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Length is 0 0.598. 5, uh, 598. 598. Uh, 598. Meter. Okay. That's, that's, answer, that's the answer correct. Okay. 0 0.598. 0 0.598. Okay. So that's all for this question. So be careful with the formula for circular coil and solenoid. Circular coil is mu naught and i over two radius. Uh, this one is uh, solenoid is mu naught and i. Yeah, mu naught and i become mu naught and i over length total length. This one is two radius. This one is two radius. This one is uh, the total length of solenoid. So that's the difference between solenoid and circular coil. Okay. This one use diameter, diameter. This one use total length. Okay. Okay. Uh, bye.